good morning. I just woke up. It's 6 15. Yeah, you can see anyway. The electricity is working this morning, which is a miracle because some mornings it is not working. And I'm gonna go get ready now. It's actually just such a miracle that the electricity is working because there were so many mornings that I had to get ready with the, the torch, which was really not practical. The electricity just turned off. I was hoping it would stay on today, but it didn't. But I hope I can turn it back on before I leave so that my stuff in the fridge and in the freezer don't die. Later I have to walk like all the way around there where the stable is. Some mornings I had the visit of a little desert fox. I think they're called silver fox. I forgot now. Let's go have breakfast now. No toasters here, so this is how my toast in the pan. It actually works pretty well. Most of the days I eat inside, but Today I have a bit more time, so I want to eat outside and there's no electricity inside, so it's pretty much dark and it's a nice morning. A little bit more cold I think than the last days because the last days it has been 45 degrees to 48 degrees in the sun in the middle of the day and it was really really hot, so now it's better. Also I didn't say where I am, I'm actually in the Taras region, mountain region, next to the Namib desert. Uh, in Rensch, Rensch Koimasis. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I'm here for like four and a half weeks to volunteer and work at the ranch and work with horses and it's really fun. And this is my day in the life vlog, whatever. So you can see how it is to work here for a day. Let's have breakfast now. It's 7.15, I have to walk all the way to the stables for like half an hour. I didn't forget my hat today, I did yesterday. And when the sun is hitting, it's not fun. The horses here are quarter horses mixed with the wild uh, Nabib horse. They live in like, we call camp. It's like a really huge uh, place and then the horses that we are working, go to the stable in the morning where we feed them, we ride them and when we're done, they go back out. So they're just out the whole day basically. I'm almost at the saloon, which is halfway to the stable. It's a lot of, it's a lot of walking. I think I walk, I walk like 10 kilometers per day, which I usually never do so much. This is Koopa. Hello. <laughs> Get his dog, and he's always hanging out with us. Huh? Here's some of the horses that I ride. This is Spaniard, Santana, Domino. This is Mocha. This is Nightwish. Little old boy. He's so cute. This is Bobby. And this is Attila. <laughs> Filling up the water it was really heavy in the beginning, but now my muscles are getting used to it. And this 
is the stable. Here's a round pen. The really pretty view over the mountain. Here we have some really nice photo. This is actually Bobby, the one I showed earlier. I'm gonna take my first horse, Mr. Mocha. Like, oh, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work in the arena, which is here. I just finished riding Mocha. We always work them between 20 and 30 minutes. And the trainer that was inside with me is Emmanuel. He trains the young horses and Frida also has her horses to ride. Bringing him out now to his paddock. All around here is their paddock. It's super big, I don't even see the ending fence. Second horse of the day, Spaniard. <laughs> Horse number two done. I'm gonna unsaddle him, bring him out, and I think I have time for one more horse and I think I will ride uh, Rambo which is one that I haven't ridden yet it's getting hot and the sun is quite strong I was supposed to ride Rambo for the first time, but he got a new bite from a horse and he's a bit swollen. So we put now some cream and see here. I cannot ride him, so I'm gonna groundwork him instead. I'm done with groundwork. Now it's 11. Frida is riding Morgan and she said that I can try him, so that's what I'm gonna do. First I'm gonna go fill some water because I'm thirsty. Right now I'm gonna take Bobby to the castle. Bringing your kids to school. lunch break time oh I just got back it's hot outside and I'm gonna think about what to make for for lunch I'm not sure yet I wanted to eat like kind of a tomato salad but only one tomato that I have is good and I only had two anyways so I'm just making some rice bit of a boring lunch but that's okay I'm not too hungry maybe tonight I will eat pasta because I have this sun-dried tomato pesto and it's the only pesto that I have, 
So maybe I eat that tonight. I finished my rice and tomato and now I'm gonna eat a little protein bar. It looks like it's completely flat and in a stupid form because um, it was melted and I have a bunch of them in my room and when I want to eat them I put them in the fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna do the dishes and probably read a bit or take a nap. I will see. So I didn't really give a lot of context of what I'm doing here. Oops. I arrived now a week and a half ago at the ranch. Basically the ranch offers this volunteer program. You pay to stay here and then you can ride the horses and you basically have like a bunch of horses that are assigned to you and the volunteers help with basically everything. Uh, so feeding the horses, giving water, that's what I'm showing for the whole day actually and training the horses etc and it's really fun and right now I'm alone I mean not fully alone because I'm with Frida who is the one taking care of the program basically but yeah I mean alone as in no other volunteer so I'm alone at the, at the castle where we live but I was for like a week and a half with one girl before she left on Sunday so two days ago and tomorrow evening there are two new volunteers coming one swiss girl and one british girl so then we're gonna be three yeah i'll show some clips of where we live this is the little living room here and then here's the kitchen i can show the castle here it is There are four, two here and two in the back there. I also didn't show you my room, which is here. Um, this is my bed with the mosquito net. My clothes and my stuff are here. And then there is this little desk here. And this is my view. The other view, the mountain. During the night, it's so pretty because I can see the Milky Way here. Time to go back to the stables. It's what time is it? 2:35. And yeah, have to be at the saloon at 3 and then Frida comes with me to the stable. But first I'm creaming myself because the sun is harsh and I don't want to burn again. It is 2:43. I just left the castle, um, saddled Bobby again and going back to the stable and then we're gonna go on an outright. So every afternoon we go on an outright usually, um, usually a really long outright like two or two and a half hours but today Freda said maybe we do two small ones. So I'm actually taking Attila. I thought I wouldn't ride him today, but since we're going on two outrides, I'm taking Attila and then Domino. Now I'm gonna pack two water bottles for the outride. Fuck, there's no water. So yeah, no water. Gonna have to go where the water is to see if there is water inside and see if I can open it. So there's no water, but I have a bottle to fill those bottles. Attila is ready for the outride and Frida is also ready with Fura. So we're gonna go now for a small outride and I'm gonna take the GoPro. So see you later. just came back from the first outride. I don't know how long we did, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know actually.
So we came back from the outride and now I'm bringing Domino out. the sunset because it's super pretty this mountain is really nice i am back home after this long day it is seven and i uh, just walked the 30 minutes back and now i'm gonna take a shower i think then eat or the other way around anyway oh that was a good day i'm i said long because i worked like six horses I mean, one was groundwork and one was mostly just trying Morgan, but still. I'm really happy with my vlog today. I think I filmed really a lot of what was going on, so that should be nice to edit then. I don't think I'm gonna film more after this because it's not really interesting. I'm just gonna take a shower, cook, and then probably go into my room, read a bit, and then go to bed, probably. I go to bed super early here. I mean, I wake up at like 6.15 and I go to bed at sometimes at 9.30, sometimes at 10, but super tired. So that was all for today. Thanks for joining. And I hope that was cool to see. Basically, this is how my days look like here from Monday to Friday. And then on Saturday, we only work half day. Uh, it's a cleaning day. So we like clean the tack, clean, um, the stable Saturday afternoon is off and Sunday is off and last Sunday I went to the pool that was really nice soon uh, at the end of the month at the end of March anyway because it's end of February now there is a guest tour of one week with two people so that's gonna be cool every day it's a different ride yeah so that's all I'm hungry and I need to take a shower so if you have any questions you can just comment and if you want to see more photos or whatever you can probably see some on my instagram bye